we needed to make the, the people who are going to be working the vaccination sites, make them feel comfortable with being exposed to so many people coming through. We assembled at EMS Station 8 for our first drive-through clinic. And that was the first drive-through clinic in Hampton Roads. And we vaccinated several hundred healthcare providers and emergency responders. We were able to set up an operation that was able to do initially several hundred in a day to finally getting to where we'll be able to do over 3,000 in a day. Making the operations at the Convention Center work required a huge commitment by a lot of organizations. One major milestone was the city's decision to go all in on this project. Making the operations at the Convention Center work required a huge commitment by a lot of organizations. Uh, volunteers from the Citizens Emergency Response Team, the Medical Reserve Corps, a team from the Health Department, and then we also brought in 30 to 50 city employees per shift from all departments. And then in, in the latter half of the operation, the National Guard was here. We moved to 1B, which was over 100,000 people, including uh, essential workers, seniors over age 65, and people with uh, underlying health conditions. Our impact to mass vaccinations extended beyond just the tens of thousands that got shots and arms from us. Uh, very early on, other groups started coming here from around Hampton Roads and, and around the state to look at how we were operating and take these lessons learned back into their communities. Our goal was to vaccinate as many people as possible to stop the spread of COVID-19 so we could protect our friends, our families, and our neighbors. Right, so we jumped in head first with that goal in mind. And so it was a true partnership and, and very few other communities jumped in that way. And, and that's what let us be ahead of the game and also lay the foundation for state and federal partners and other people that have come in behind.